This bicycle is my least favorite weapon in TF2 that I use. I think it's a really terribly designed weapon, but it's better than the stock knife, so I use it. I think the bicycle suffers from a couple major design flaws. Number one, it's a single class counter weapon. Weapons designed to counter single classes are always just a real pain to try to deal with. What generally happens is the weapon ends up being disproportionately good against that specific class, leading to a lot of frustration. However, I don't think the Spicicle actually has this problem, at least nearly as bad as the other single class counter weapons. And that's because as opposed to the other single class counter weapons, the Spicicle doesn't offer very much offensive capability. In my entire time playing Pyro, I can only recall one time where a Spicicle spy actually got to me. I had this guy dead to rights. He was about to get an ass full of backburner crits. But then he just walks fucking through it like Superman, it was stupid. Problem two, its upside is the same as its downside. This is the biggest problem with this weapon in my opinion. The upside is it gets rid of your knife to extinguish you. The downside is it gets rid of your knife to extinguish you. So the choice is yours. Do you want the safety of a free extinguish? Or do you want, um, uh... What would the upside of the knife be? I mean, I guess you could trick stab the pyro. But yeah, nine times out of 10, the spicicle is the better option. And that's a bit of a problem. Problem number three, and this is personally my biggest issue with this weapon. And that's when you're holding the knife and it melts, you automatically get the sapper place into your hands. Why would I want the sapper? I was just using the knife. Obviously, the second best option is the gun. There's no scenario where I have my knife out and I want to use the sapper instead. Aw oh man, I guess I can no longer backstab this guy, but at least I can sap them. Obviously, I'm being hyperbolic here, but I have died an embarrassing number of times due to this design choice. Come to think of it, it's probably not even a choice. It probably just defaults to the secondary weapon when you lose a weapon. But seriously, Valve, please fix. Valve, finally update the game after 18 billion years and just do this one small Spicicle rework. It would be so funny. But how would I fix this weapon, you may ask, but probably didn't. Well, for starters, I'd make it so the weapon actually removes all negative status effects. Fire, Jurati, Bleed, etc. This way the weapon isn't targeting a single class. Next, I'd remove the melting mechanic and replace it with a different but substantial downside. What would this downside be, you may ask? I don't know, man. What do I have to think of everything? I generally think designing a weapon with downsides in mind before you start testing is usually kind of a bad idea. It's usually far better to start out with an upside or gimmick than work out the downside when you start beta testing it. But hey, it's not like Valve's gonna update the game anyways. And even if they do, what, are they gonna listen to me? 